Hey, my PYTs, my Punch gang, welcome back to your girl's channel. I am Punch Bree PYT. You know me. If you don't know me, welcome to Punchinella Games. I hope you enjoy the show. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave me a lovely comment down below. I am back with Jackson Family Values today. And let me start by saying I do apologize for only uploading one video a week lately. Um, if you guys watch my channel update video, you know that I had a surgical procedure done and it took me a little while to get over it. And now I am back to work. And since I've been gone, it has stacked up the hell. And, <laughs> and it is just out of control. And we are working overtime and it is insane. Like I'm working like 10, 11 hours a day. So unfortunately i don't have a lot of time at this moment and not to mention i'll be crazy exhausted when i'm done so please forgive me it will mellow out and i will be able to um upload more videos at a time and also let me stop and shout out my new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to me and becoming a PYT. I appreciate it so much. Y'all make my day. Every time I see one, I get so excited. Like it really makes my day. I appreciate you guys support so much. Shout out to my subscribers from day one and up to present because you guys are literally making a girl's dreams come true and I appreciate it so very much each and every one of you okay um but now that I'm done spilling all my tea and being mushy we are back with Jackson Family Values <laughs> and today y'all um we're gonna age Jonathan up to a preteen um I was gonna throw him a birthday party at the same venue I used in the Black Widow challenge but I changed my mind because I thought that might look really lazy of me <laughs> so I threw together this little pool venue it's trash but it's cute <laughs> it, it it gets the job done okay so we're gonna have him like a little pool party and age him up and then I want to have a housewoman party and I know that's a lot of partying, but y'all know I love to throw a party and they have to do this to celebrate, you know, what they have accomplished, right? Like we have to give them time to enjoy all this stuff, show it out. So that's what we're going to do. That's what I'm planning to do. Um, Cassidy actually has an audition tomorrow, Saturday morning at, um, I think 9 a.m. So after that, then we will have Jonathan's party so for the rest of this day we're just chilling and getting ready for the next day um nothing major i do want to show you guys their house so y'all know we went shopping in the last episode and bought a bunch of furniture and stuff so i want to show you guys what we got so far because we're going to take it slow for money reasons but we were down to like five thousand dollars a few minutes ago and then that check hit from that sims tube those videos and they made twenty thousand dollars i'm telling you the money is making videos for sims tube period period <laughs> we're <laughs> we're doing the acting thing to have some accolades and stuff like that but the money yeah but um so far this is what we have cassidy changed her mind on the couch and got a different color don't ask me why i don't know <laughs> y'all have to ask her um this is the kitchen so we got all our stuff unpacked all our goodies and snacks we got our cabinets filled up and everything our kitchen we got pretty much everything out of the way we still got a box over here but anyway this is the dining room so the dining room is almost done as well um we could add a couple more small things but so cassidy really concentrated on the kitchen and the dining room and the living room and so like I said this is what we have so far now what I need is some ideas for all of my amazing decorators and designers okay we got this space right here big space okay I need to know what do you guys think I should put here because it's off of the kitchen and into the living room 
So I know in like some big major like mansions and stuff, they have like another couch with just like a coffee table or some decorative chairs or something, you know, just for like a little sitting area. It's really no purpose for it. I also know people put like um, maybe a small dining table or a breakfast breakfast what what is wrong with my lips break break fast table <laughs> what's wrong with my mouth anyway here as well but I didn't know and I, I thought since the dining room was so close that I didn't really need to put a breakfast table here or whatever so you guys give me some ideas in the comment section let me know what I should do there for their house. So up here, we haven't really done much um, because like I said, Cassidy was concentrating on the downstairs. So that is all we have. Oh, our back porch. Yeah, so this is our little sitting area. Come on downstairs, boo. All right. This is our little sitting area outside by the pool, our little back porch area. So. We, we done pretty good and we just got some more money so you know we about to spend it okay but anyway so um yeah we're gonna get through the rest of this day and just um get ready for jonathan's little party tomorrow so let's jump in this gameplay hey y'all so um unfortunately i filmed a whole segment of the rest of the night and it didn't record so <laughs> i'm glad i noticed it when i did because the whole episode would have been done and i wouldn't have recorded jack so um but we're here the next morning um and jonathan is up taking him a little bath i'm about to wake cassidy up because she has her audition today um as y'all know it, it it still is a glitch like if i save it if I save the game or exit the game um, before she actually goes to the gig, the gig won't work. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get through the whole thing so she can actually go to this gig. Um, no promises though, <laughs> no promises. My schedule doesn't always permit, but anyway, I digress. Jonathan is up. It is today is his party. I'm going to go ahead and set the party up. Let me coordinate with Cassidy's um, audition, though. So she goes to audition at 9 a.m. So she should be back by 12. So let's do. Let's go ahead and add an event, and um, we're gonna make it at 12. Let's see, team party. We want a. We want a birthday party, but we want a party that we can, um, everybody can come to. So let me make sure. Let me see, guest, 200. Okay, yeah, okay, cool. This is the one I want. All right, so it's gonna be Jonathan. Oh, I can't believe Jonathan's gonna be a preteen, y'all. Oh my God, I feel like old. Um, Let's see, so these are all her family members. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go through the long list to find everybody, unfortunately. And, all right, let's see. So I know I want family to come. Um, Y'all about to see something too, I'm finna show you something. <laughs> I don't know if Cassidy knows, well, they should show up. All right, so we're gonna invite Cassidy's family, of course, because you know we're trying to make everyone one big happy family. One day soon, when they get married, they will be one big happy family. So when we have little events like this, we wanna make sure everybody comes. Like, we can't leave nobody out. So that was her grandparents that I just invited. And, and, I, and I'm gonna invite his mom, y'all. So I know that previously I had stopped inviting her to um, events because every time she came, she cut up real bad or started some mess so <laughs> i wasn't oh mortimer died that's so sad oh my gosh the progression in my na my neighborhood okay so we got malcolm so we got cassidy's sister cassidy's brother cassidy's dad cassidy's mom we have more of her family coming and this is cassidy's stepmom so i guess we'll invite her who is katrina grant i'm interested to know how they got the same last name all oh, these people didn't die on me oh her lashes go ahead desiree um i didn't know like i have to do this every now and then just to see who died because i don't think i have those notifications on for them to tell me every time somebody passed away I probably should turn them on, though, just in case some of my family passed away. <laughs> Devon's grandma. Okay, y'all. So here we go. <laughs> y'all remember um, Devon's little brother right here, Landon, named after his daddy, Landon? Tell me why I went to their house the other day just to check on the family, and I had Cassidy and them go over there. Why they parents done had two more children? Meet Aubrey and meet Brayden. So... Devon's parents have now officially had three more children and they are all toddlers and they're all younger than their sons 
son. Um, yeah, that's what's going on. Yep. Yep. I don't have no explanation. I'm just going to invite some random kids, guys. Um, I don't have no explanation. I don't have, I don't have nothing to say. It was all done without my knowledge, except for one, the first one they asked us. And I think he put, you know, it's up to you. And they decided. And then after that, I don't know what happened. They just started having kids, like, left and right. My point is, they didn't have kids behind my back and they told me nothing. Where are all the kids? All these adults in our um, neighborhood. All I see is toddlers and adults. Who is it? Oh, I forgot, girl. I forgot. That's his mom. Okay, let me invite his mama. Because I... <laughs> I literally have just forgot already to invite his mama. I'm going to invite Bob Pancakes and Jennifer Pancakes and I guess Eliza. Y'all don't have no kids though? Like, what? what is going on? I mean, there are no children. Anyway, so in the part that I was recording, or thought I was recording, I had Cassidy bake, oh, here's a kid. Thank gosh. I had Cassidy bake him a um, cake for his birthday. And instead of doing a traditional birthday cake, we made him a zombie cake because he's a little weirdo and then it's right after we made the zombie cake he started listening to spooky music and was like i like spooky music so see we read him right our neighborhood is seriously lacking children so that's all they're coming oh 25 oh lord i know they don't invite that many people all right let me find this park that i made darling okay so we're gonna do 12 o'clock and there we go oh my god he's gonna grow up at 12 o'clock my heart all right so cassidy go ahead and get up my dear, Jonathan is already up. I'm going to wake um, Devon up. And, okay, so Cassidy's hogging the toilet. So come down here and use this restroom here. And I'm going to have Devon cook some breakfast for him and Jonathan and Cassidy. She should have time to eat. Let's just do eggs and toast. It's very simple. <laughs> and um, they can have their breakfast. And then I'm going to send her on by her way. And Jonathan, we're going to be getting ready for his party. So let me show y'all what I got Jonathan. Here is what I got him, y'all. This little scooter. Look, it works. I haven't tried it out yet, but it's supposed to be like a real scooter. Like he can ride on it. So that's what we're going to give him at his party. No, you can't eat the cake. That's for his birthday. No, you either. Um, Devon, please come cook. These people are hungry. <laughs> like, they are... Cassidy still trying to eat this baby's cake. Let me just have her get a quick meal real quick because they finna start getting on my nerves. I can feel it in my spirit. Let me just let her get um, some... Just get some granola because you want to go to your audition, Skinny. <laughs> We ain't trying to go to the audition full of sausage and eggs. <laughs> it says, last week says no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Oh, that's so sad. Ask other kids if, if you can join them. Talk to the teacher. No, ask the kids, can you join? That would be the best thing. Right? So how about you sit down right there? <laughs> Devon, like, I'm going to go out here and grill. Cause <laughs> I'm hungry and Cassidy blocking the <laughs> Cassidy blocking the refrigerator. Okay, now let's do some eggs and toast. Now that she's out the way. Go clean that plate up. Jonathan play in. What are you finna play in? The dust? Boy, you don't you gonna make it worse. Seriously. You need your butt whooped for that. This is so cute how they how they cooking y'all in his do rag. My heart. <sighs> All right, Cassidy. You know what? It didn't notify me of her audition. So you know what that means. She's not going. <laughs> I'm so tired of that glitch. Is she going to? Her? Oh, it is, she is going. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was about to start ranting, y'all. <laughs> I was finna start cutting up. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So she's going. Bye, Cassidy. Go ahead before you make me go off on, on the Sims for no reason. All right. Let's eat our breakfast. 
grab a serving. Jonathan, go ahead and get you a serving. I know you hungry. Why do y'all just stand there and eat the food standing up in the kitchen? Like, have a, get your plate and have a seat. I don't understand. Jonathan, as hungry as you was a second ago, grab you a plate. Get you a plate. What are you doing? What are you doing? You want to talk bad. <laughs> okay, finally. All right. So our, our house is kind of dirty. I've been working on it. So let me go in this closet right here and get my vacuum. And we're going to vacuum because Jonathan out here playing in the dirt. Like he ain't got no home training. You'll be making some ways having your divine entertainment is a great place for someone to answer a previous. Um, we're gonna have to decline at this point, but maybe at some point we will go into entertainment. Y'all, I don't know why this tickles me pink to see them vacuum. I paid money just to see them vacuum. I think I need help. <laughs> I mean, it really just gets me. Look at him. He's vacuuming. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. Okay, Jonathan, let's get ready to age up. What are we? Can, do we want a? Do we want a birthday outfit? Are we? Jonathan don't really t strike me as like wanting a birthday outfit. At least not yet. He's like a laid back kid. As long as he can have his creepiness. <laughs> his he's a little. His little um, zombie and spooky music stuff. He's straight. So I'm not going to do that. Let me get my cake out of here. So we don't forget it. Because knowing me, I'll forget it. Jonathan. All right, Jonathan, come. Oh, he's coming down to talk to Devon anyway. Good. Because I want Devon to talk to him about growing up. We're not going to have the birds and the bees conversation just yet. But he needs to talk to him about be becoming a young man. So he's like, hello, son. Today's your birthday. You're turning into a young man. You're going to have to start having some responsibilities around here. Going to have to start, start acting a little more mature. Oh, we passed our audition. Yes. But she's right on time. Yes, let's start. All right, I'll see y'all at the party. All right, we have made it show y'all his little table okay so since Jonathan is so into um creepy things and into like zombies and spooky stuff <laughs> we gave him a spooky party so we put up some <laughs> some scary looking stuff for him because that's what he's into and there's his cake all right so I'm gonna get Cassidy over here playing but I'm gonna get her to grill some hot dogs really quick um, ooh, or we can do it big and do barbecue ribs. Let's do some ribs. Okay, so I'm going to show you the little thing I threw together really quick. Okay, so this is what I'm, I'm calling this little area water town. All right, it's like a little pool venue or party venue. And this is the little entryway. Okay, under here. Okay, let me tap because that way I can show you better. All right, so under here is like where you would have your little party. That's where we got our little setup at. You can grill. Here's the restroom. And over here, it's a little sitting area. We got our little lawn chairs all around. This is like a kiddie pool, but, you know, if, it, if he feels the need. Um, we got a little toddler section, another little picnic table. You know, so it's actually really simple. It's but um, I just wanted somewhere fun and different. And like I said, I was gonna use the other one, but I was like, eh, let me let me let me do something different. So anyway, this is it. This is our little pool party venue. So anyway, let me let everybody have fun. All right. So Jonathan, y'all look at Jonathan. Now we at the pool thing. He over here making girlfriends with his whole party outfit on. He ain't even got on his <laughs> swimsuit and stuff. He over here trying to get to know people. 
Oh, so this is one of Devon's um, little sisters. This is Devon's sister, but this is one of the babies that they had. I can't, I still can't get over that. All right, Jonathan, come play. So let's see, slide with, let's slide with, with, with dad and have a good old time. Did everybody show up? Cassidy's grandma is here. It is a park, so it's probably gonna be other people, random people coming. Put the ribs up there for everybody. Cassidy, you gonna make nothing else? Can we just make, let's just make like some hot dogs or hamburgers real quick so everybody can have choices. Party size. Okay, so here's Jonathan's mom. Look how she dressed coming to the pool though. Where are you going? Let me go over here and check on Jonathan and Devon. <laughs> y'all having fun? How cute! Not y'all wearing full clothes though. This is Devon's dad, y'all. For you that don't know, this is Devon's dad. Like, where are you going though? <laughs> With them plaid pants on. Where are you going? <laughs> this is a pool event. Y'all are supposed to be dressed <laughs> for the pool. What is going on? <laughs> I don't trust Cassidy's dad talking to um, Jonathan's mom. I, I, I just don't trust Erica like that. I really don't. And I don't trust Cassidy's dad either. I really, I really don't trust him. <laughs> what does Jonathan need to apologize to her about? Let's just go over here and ask her how her day going. Like, hey, ma, I'm gonna put everybody in the um, I'm gonna put everybody in the in the in the right attire because it's making me halt seeing them in, in these party clothes. Like it ain't 99 degrees outside. Let me put John. Let me ooh, y'all. That slow motion moving though. Let me put her in hers too. Oh my gosh, she's missing outfits. What happened to my CC? Okay, here we go. Now we have an, not, well, almost. Let me, <laughs> almost, let me change this too. Y'all making me hot. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> Please get out of these clothes. I'm surprised they're not overheating. J Devon, 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 that is his gift. Get off that baby scooter. I'm like, Devon, I'm not even playing. Get off that baby scooter. That is his. Get off of it. That's why you look funny because it ain't for you. Ooh, girl, he bent up like a pretzel. Put it in your inventory and stop playing with me. This man, y'all, this man out here, you man, <laughs> skating down the street. Skating down the street on the baby's birthday present. Just, just rude. What's wrong, Cassidy? Why everybody got up at the same time? That's weird. I don't like this lag that I am receiving. I do not. All right, I want to get him to go ahead and blow out his candles while everybody is kind of gathered right here. Let's see, Jonathan, let's stop talking and, oh, let me have, I'm gonna have Cassidy add him some candles. Why can't I? I'll have this problem every single time. <laughs> Red birthday candles. Y'all think I would be used to this as many parties and birthday parties I've thrown in the game? You think I would be used to where the cake's supposed to be, but I'm not. Add the candles, please. So for the next 20 minutes, I had a mental breakdown. Here's a brief clip of that breakdown. What? Ah, I'm about to snap. I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose my cool. I don't know what's going on with this crowd or whatever. This little girl and um, J 
Jonathan's mom was like fighting and stuff. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But y'all had to buy a whole nother table to be able to put the candles on the can. Ain't that just the most annoying thing ever? And I don't mean to chin moan, but urgh, what the heck? But how cute is this cake though? It got candles coming out his eyeballs. It's adorable. Okay, so let's let Jonathan blow out his candles. Everybody get ready. Our favorite little boy is growing up. Excuse me, y'all have to let him get to the cake. Hello? Hello, y'all are, who big titty woman is this though? I, I know I invited her. She just at the party. I mean, she just at the park. Where's poor Jonathan? Jonathan! Y'all, not me missing it because everybody in the way. Look at Jonathan. He's like, who are all these people at my darn party? I don't know them. Preteen years. Welcome Jonathan Jackson to being a preteen. For the next couple of years, you're going to be experiment, experiencing, excuse me, some changes. Don't worry, Jonathan, it's completely natural. You'll do just fine. Y'all are high key in my way. So let's pick an aspiration for Jonathan. So right now, Honestly, I don't know. Maybe I can pick one and change it later because Jonathan is so young. I don't even know if he knows what he wants to do. Um, maybe athletic because his dad is. Let's do that. Let's do that. Jonathan wants to be a sports enthusiast because his father is one. And then I'm going to randomize these two. So naturally funny and loves bowling. Okay, I'll take it. Oh my God. Jonathan. Jonathan. I gotta do it, man. Not you wearing Cassidy's wig. <laughs> oh, it's too cute on them though, I'm sorry. I just sent you a gift. It should be arriving in the mail soon. Awesome sauce. Not the toddler bringing him a gift, though. Let me get him in some actual um, pool clothes and give him his hairdo bag. All right, now Jonathan looks like Jonathan. Now this looks like the Jonathan we remember. <laughs> I had to give him his hairdo and stuff back. <laughs> but as you can see, um, if you guys been watching from the beginning of this series, um, Devon started out like kind of thick gums and everything, but he wanted to get in shape because he wanted, you know, to pursue this dream of being a professional athlete. Well, Jonathan got his dad's body. This is exactly how Devon used to look. So um, Jonathan right now is following his father's footsteps, at least right now. We don't know what he's going to decide to do, but um so he's going to probably start wanting to get in shape with his dad so he can look like his dad. And and I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if he'll be able to um, get like that or not, but we'll see. But you know what's so funny to me? And y'all may not even know him, but um, let me see something. Y'all may not even know um, this, this singer, but... Um, if you know the if you know the Jacksons, <laughs> if you know Tito Jackson, I know y'all have heard his name. So he got these three sons who had this group called Three T, right? And the oldest son, I think he, I think his name was Taj. This boy looked just like Taj. I'm gonna put a picture of Taj so y'all can see him. I, <laughs> as soon as I put the hairdo on him, I was like, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> he looked just like Todd. He got the ears and everything. I'm so dead. And his last name is Jax. Mm. Maybe I need to start going down Devon's family tree. We may have some money somewhere waiting on us. 
some prestige, some fame. I need to go down that Jackson family tree. The jeans are strong. <laughs> it look just like Tosh. I'm sorry. I had to. Anyway, y'all know I always relate my Sims to like celebrities and stuff I see. So anyway, I'm gonna get Devon to come over here. And um, let's see. Let's hang out with one of our friends. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I Where my cake at? Did y'all move? Oh, y'all, I'm starting tripping. I forgot I brought the table. I want Devon to give um jonathan his gift i was about to start socializing no wait we have to get <laughs> i'm sorry i can't stop laughing <laughs> i can't stop laughing <laughs> so much. oh my god that was such an accident <laughs> oh my god I'm sorry I got tears and because it truly was an accident I did not mean to oh okay anyway I'm I'm ready now I'm sorry y'all they crack me up all the time but bruh this right here oh that took me it sent me um I want to give him a gift and to be honest I can't remember how to give gifts can I give this as a gift give gift friendly gift Let's give him the scooter. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Come on over here, little Taj, and get this gift. <laughs> we got you a scooter. Don't be sad. You're going to love it. Oh, Jonathan, like, I got to pee. Look at his mom. <laughs> Why are you moving in slow motion, though? That's weird. Devon, please give this baby his gift. I think I'm glitching, y'all. All right, so now we're going to give him the gift. My game is really glitching, y'all. I guess it's trying to tell me I need to update. Give it to him, please. I want to see him on his scooter, Devon. Devon don't want to get a baby his gift. Has he been having too much fun with it? <laughs> give him his gift. Everybody's leaving. Oh, the party's over. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. Have a good day. Okay. So he will not give him his gift. Oh, I knew he was going to wait till I wasn't in the right mode for my screenshot. It makes me sick. Okay. So at least he got it. And he's happy about it. So let's go. Let's see. Ride around on scooter. Come on, Jonathan. Let's go ride around on your scooter. <laughs> it's so cute. If it wasn't glitching to all hell. Come on. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Look, we about to go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not that part. Not that part. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, look. <laughs> Pickles cools me. He came, he too short for it. But I'm gonna pretend like he not. <laughs> oh my god, that is too funny. <laughs> oh, this game never ceased to amaze me, let me tell you. Yeah, he's too he's too big for I mean too small for this one, but he'll grow into it. He'll grow into it. And he's still riding, so it's cool. Let me go back over here to the party. Oh my God, Cassidy! Y'all, yeah, let me get off of this and go update <laughs> my game. Let me go fix my game. Girl, that scared me. What the hell was that? So Cassidy, you can um, come over here and holler at your brother and say hi. Her brother is such a whore. I think he has like five children. Brighten his day and tell him he looks good. Nice to see him. You see what I'm saying? I haven't even updated and it's like glitching like this. I think they just slipped me a bug or something some type of way. I really do. Because I've been playing offline for like months. <laughs> I think they didn't. Uh, look at Jonathan. Right. <laughs> I think they didn't um, try to play me or something. And it snuck me a bug because my game is just not behaving like it normally does 
All right, so she talking to her little, she talking to her brother. And see this big gathering here where everybody just hovering. What are y'all doing? Admiring the barbecue ribs? Why well, is everybody just standing around like that? All right, Jonathan, come. Y'all, Jonathan not getting off that scooter for nobody. Okay, that's fine. It's typical preteen behavior. I'm gonna end the party because y'all ain't doing nothing. Just standing around, being glitchy and weird. Every time I try to talk to somebody, it doesn't work. Ooh. Uh, let me cheat and give Devon a little. Ooh, Devon forgot to go to work. I forgot to um put him off for today. Oh, whoops, he might get fired. If he gets fired, I don't care. I'm gonna cheat and put his job back. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna put them back at the same level and everything. It makes me no, never mind. Oh, we can play in this sand. Look at this man. <laughs> he didn't fail and, and, and we didn't went all up his skirt. Not Devon going for, for 10 minutes and making $40. <laughs> all right, let's, I want, I wanted him to really like talk to his mom and stuff, but. He done messed around and got musty out here riding his scooter. Let me take him off. Well, take him off the scooter. But don't forget to put that in your inventory, though. Jonathan, please. Jo <laughs> Jonathan, please. <laughs> please, 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 please. Ooh, that is... Bleh creeps me out yeah he's he's musty as all hell his mom is so disrespectful so disrespectful but anyway it's then got dark and everything so we finna go home this party was a disaster <laughs> i'll see you guys back at home okay y'all so we are here the next morning after the party they just came home and crashed nobody did anything um, so I'm gonna get them started for today. Um, I was gonna do, um, in the beginning of the video, I said I was going to do like a housewoman party. I think I'm going to wait on that y'all because I think Cassidy is going to actually go to her gig and we will actually get to play that part. And if I do that, it's gonna take so long that the, it would make the video so incredibly long. And plus, we have not completely furnished our home. So I think that, you know, Cassidy, Cassidy and Devon would kind of be like, you know, we don't want to have everyone come see it until we're completely done. So yeah, I was thinking why they were all snoring and talking in their sleep. Like, should I have that party? I think I'm gonna wait. Let's clean this bowl up because we already had a party and it was a disaster. <laughs> and I kind of feel like I need to go and shut that down before something else. I see you at school. It was fun talking t instead of texting. Oh, okay. Not Jonathan having little homies already. Congratulations on your recent birthday. Thank you, Grandma. Um, so, yeah. So, I did um, put him on his clothes and stuff. To make him look like the Jonathan we know. And I'm gonna have, what is this saying? Our phone rings so much. No. Okay. I'm gonna have Cassidy come down here and make us some breakfast. What we want? I think I want something out this cookbook today. Let's do breakfast. What are we gonna have? Crumpets. Box and ba oh, let's do some chocolate chip pancakes. That sounds really good. Okay. All right, Jonathan. Come over here and sit down and have a seat. Talk to Cassidy while she's cooking. But yeah, y'all. So I think I'm going to wait and have a party. Once we get something for this area. So don't forget in the comment section, give me some ideas of what you think I can do with this big giant open square that has nothing. <laughs> Once I do that part, and decorate up here a little bit more 
then everything should be complete because I'm gonna leave this room like it is, honestly. Excuse me. And her spotlight is fading. Oh my God, we gotta go to this gig. Let's hope this gig goes well too because we can't afford to be losing celebrity points. Like that's the point of the whole LP is for them to be famous. So we cannot not not be famous. Okay. Also about Jonathan, like I said, um, Jonathan's aspiration is to be basically just like his father. So I want to start letting Jonathan kind of follow in Devon's footsteps and start working out and, you know, doing all the stuff his dad does because that's who he wants to be like. So now when Devon works out or goes to the gym, I'm going to take Jonathan with us. Now, y'all, I've never played with a preteen at the gym. Uh oh, so I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> but let, so I don't know if he's going to make it. <laughs> All right, let's get a serving. Jonathan, come get you a serving because I know you hungry. Cassidy, please get from in front of the food. Come have a seat and eat your and come eat over here. Why do y'all do that? It's so annoying. Just block everybody else from getting a plate. Let him come sit there. Devon, let me wake Devon up. Devon, hello. Y'all, Devon is anemic, so he be sleeping. I can relate. <laughs> Let's take a shot. Oh, it say it starts in an hour. That means it's gonna work. Oh, I'm so excited. Brush your teeth. And then you can come get something to get you a plate of chocolate chip pancakes. They look delish. Y'all, I'm so excited. Cassidy hasn't been on a gig in a minute. I hope she remember what she's supposed to do because I definitely did not work on anything she was supposed to work on because I was too wrapped up in John. Your Lord, somebody on fire outside. Oh my God. Not the Balenciaga bag on fire, too. Oh, my God. Who is this? Jaquan. Jaquan. I would come save you, but we finna go on a gig, and I don't want to get musty. I'm sorry. Hey, you. Put him out. Oh, he's a, he's a big-time celebrity. Proper celebrity. He ain't about to... <laughs> Extinguish the man. Y'all, they, they ain't. Hey, Cassidy, I think Morgan Fry, Fries, Fry, Fry, well, it doesn't matter. Morgan is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? I don't think she's a good fit for you. You just ask anybody walking out. Like, stop doing that. I'm going to stay here and see it. Well, we finna be transported to her gig, but I wanted to see if he was just going to burn to a crisp in front of our house. And ain't nobody going to even help, bro. <laughs> uh, I guess that's part of living in Del Sol Valley. <laughs> Everybody too bougie to put you out. Oh, we're at the studio. It feels so funny being here. It's been so long. Been so long. Um, let's see what we got. Complete the performance, get into hair and makeup, rehearse scene with co-star, gossip with someone on set. All right, who is our co-star? Background actor. Who who is our co-star this time? Background actor, co-star. Okay. Vivan. Vivan. Let's rehearse our scene with Vivan. What kind of food they got us this time? Pizza, spaghetti. Oh, we got Italian, darling. It's it's normal quality. Okay, we got it. We got to get our our celebrity and stuff up because they still bringing us trash food. I, I'm waiting on them to have like the turkey and dressing, and it's like perfect condition, excellent condition. Yeah, Cassie, you need to rehearse because we didn't do anything. I ain't do nothing. I feel kind of bad because I did not rehearse with my girl at all. I'm so excited to be back in the studio now. 
Hold on, we're doing the herbs. Speaking of the herbs, did y'all play the herbs on PlayStation? Or I don't know if it was on any other console. But y'all, I used to love the herbs so much. It used to come on with that Black Eyed Peas song. And the Sims had thighs and booty. And it was just an amazing game. <laughs> I liked it so much. I used to wish it was on computer and I miss it desperately. I still have it somewhere and I still got that old console too. I should, I should break it out and see if it still works. Hold on. Do we have a relationship with this guy? Let me see. Vivan, excuse me. Do we have a relationship with you? We do. We need to gossip with you right quick. All right, come over here, Cassidy. Let's gossip with Vivan. But anyway, the herbs, y'all, the herbs. The Sims team EA, please bring back the herbs and put us back in the hood in the projects because I loved it. Living in, living um, in the high rise with no furniture. I loved it. It was the best game ever. I used to have to like sell ferrets or something to make money. <sighs> Good times. Anyway, I'm sorry. I got distracted. I went down nostalgia lane. Come on, Cassidy, our time darling. Let's get in this hair and makeup and get destroyed as usual. They never get our hair and makeup right. Never. So I want to see what they're going to give us this time. We're on the herb, so make us look good, would you? It said we're in an apartment in the sky or something. What was the little thing it read? The herbs. Lovable characters of all types need to be full out the cast of the herbs. The roommates on the 11th floor of Blankwood Towers get up to some crazy shenanigans. They will bring their love, laugh, tears, and friendship to your living room each week. Um, nothing changed. So I'm not going to complain. Cool. Not going to complain. Anyway, it was something in there that was a reference to like the Jeffersons or something. It doesn't matter. Anyway, please don't mess up our hair. Because I'm, I'm quite. Oh, you did an awesome job. You literally just did nothing. But I'll take that over some of the other looks I have gotten in the past. Let's get into costume and then it says eat food. Okay, we're not hungry though. I'm not hungry and I'm not gonna make her eat because every time I make her eat when she's not hungry, she she gets like, she gains a lot of weight. <laughs> like ain't even no joke. Like she literally gains <laughs> and she eat a slice of pizza. It's so realistic. It's like my life. What are we wearing? Ew. That's her outfit? And you took my lashes off? I mean, at least I got to keep the makeup and hair, but now you put me in a jumpsuit and taking off my lashes. Get notes from director. That should be this person. So let's get some notes. And then we're gonna tell director we're ready because we're not hungry. If I finish the gig quick enough, I still don't think she'll be hungry, but excuse me. The director came to us? Why? Girl, what's on your face? It doesn't match. No. I feel some type of way. What are you doing? No. Tell director ready to perform. Yes, let's ready. I'm ready. Let's ready. Child, I'm tired, Jesus. <laughs> we are ready. <laughs> okay, stop talking to him and tell the director you're ready. Yes, I'm ready to perform with no lashes. Let's go. All right, Cass. Now, we didn't practice, so we're going to have to take it slow. Let's do a... I think we can do a risky flirt. I mean, she's in a flirty mood enough that it, it should be pretty good. This part right here is so cool to me. I love that. Who is this over here with the with the Uggs purse? <laughs> okay. Oh, 
action. Y'all, this is our love interest. What kind of show is this? <laughs> this is not what I had in mind. <laughs> okay, that was cute. Perform kiss scene. Mm, let's just do a safe kiss. I'm scared. Who is this person? Victim. Excuse me, I don't think you're supposed to be on the set. The victim of who? Who, who is this? Keep. Y'all, who are these random people on set? I'm dead. Cassidy seems to be enjoying this song. Should she embrace that she likes Japanese folk music? I mean, I guess. That's what she likes. Ooh. Devon ain't gonna like that. He may not want to watch this episode. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Y'all, it's the random people on set for me. You are not part of the show. Why are you sleep on our set? And why the director ain't making y'all leave? Come on, Cassidy. Review script. <laughs> Let's do a risky mop. Oh, Lord, please don't let her fall or something. I'm going to be so embarrassed. She's so cute. You got this. Damn. Girl, you just made me look bad. Oh my God. Let's do a safe tell joke. I don't want to risk it. So we're not going to get gold on this performance. Did y'all hear the audience? That was cute. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, we did okay. It's our first day back, so yeah. Uh, her dropping that mop on her head. Not this dude over here farting though. But not her dropping the mop on her head though, y'all. That was so embarrassing. I can't even take it. Cassidy, how much did they pay us? That's the most important thing. That's a wrap. 14, let's go home. $1,400, I will take it. But oh my God, how embarrassing. Okay, so that confirms to me, I gotta stop having parties and I gotta work on her skills. <laughs> yeah, definitely gotta work on my girl's skills and stop having so much extracurricular fun. Yeah, that's what we gonna do, Cassidy. Okay, all right, okay, cool. What did this say? Cassidy has been promoted to supporting actress. But wait a minute, that's a good thing. Hold on. We've been promoted. That's really good. I still need to work on her skills, but I'm so happy that she got promoted. Let me see, let me see what the new shows are. I'm just curious. Okay, Detective Law, Apocalypse Rising. Ooh, I wanna do that one. Saucy Suds, we had that already. Dead Sea Adventures, we had already. Wild Flames and Vladislas Hardware. Why do they be making stuff like that? Like, I, 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 I don't even know how to begin to say that. Vladislas. I don't care. <laughs> anyway. That's what we gonna do. We finna work on her skills. We have to. We need to work on her comedy skill. We need to work on her acting. All of that stuff. I know, I know you need to be worked on game. You ain't gotta keep reminding me. All right, but we got promoted. So to me, I mean, it's a win-win. <laughs> we still won and we made $1,400. By the way, I did go ahead and pay the mortgage um, because it was due and they sent us a notification that it was late. Yeah. So I had to pay it while she was, I had to wake her up out of her sleep and pay it. Okay. So this is what she got from being promoted, promoted as a mother should be. I'm still a savage getting money like it's cabbage. Why these stitches out here chasing a cheater? I'm chasing a check. I'm very rich, bitch. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. That just sounds like something Nene would say. All this other petty bullshit is for the birds. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to add that because it just it just sounded like Nene. So I think, guys, I'm going to actually end the episode here because we got our young man aged up. Cassidy got back to work. And we will do our um, housewoman party when we get a few more things done in the house. Once it's completed, we'll do it. He's too cute. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. She's so nasty. And she didn't even satisfy her. So that's what you get. You should have waited on Devon to get home. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And of course, if you are not subscribed to your girl, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a PYT with me. And hit the like button. It helps me out. And make sure you leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to let me know what to do with this empty space. Okay. Um, shout out to all my subscribers, new and old. I appreciate you guys so, so very much. And I will see y'all in the next episode. Bye, PYTs.